authority. Amen. Amen. And the tithe belongs to God. What is a tithe? Tithe is 10%. Alright, 10% of all that you make and you own. Bible says 10% of it belongs to God. Amen. Amen. It doesn't belong to you, it belongs to God. What price is that? Nobody? Nobody? <laughs> Alright. Hey, the place is very side. <laughs> Did you find it? Wow! How many servants do we have here? Nobody can find that best. Huh? What, what did I ask? I really forgot the question. <laughs> no, no, tight, tight. Uh, I forgot to ask. Never mind. No, that's not what I'm looking for is in Deuteronomy. But I forgot the question. Really. But anyway, what is a guest? What is a guest? A cash person is someone who will experience persistent frustration. Mm. You understand? Yeah. When you are cast, you will persistently be frustrated. Everything you do will not work. It's a cash. Amen. And one of the ways you invoke a cash upon you is when you don't pay time, you will be frustrated at your job. Yeah. You say the supervisor will change him or her, you will still be frustrated. Yeah. You say it's your landlord, you can move to DC, to Virginia, to Vermont, to uh, if I even move to Mexico, you will still be frustrated. Amen. Amen. They understand. Yeah. You, you, when you are cursed with the curse. Hallelujah. Amen. A cursed person is someone who is behind and below in everything. Yeah. Everything you are behind. Only you. When you go and try, it doesn't work. You are behind. You are cursed. Amen. Amen. And you don't pay your time. I, I didn't say it. All right. Maybe I just pray for people to be set free. So as I'm speaking, don't think I'm cursing you. I'm just reading something to you. Amen. A cursed person is someone of whom specific evil has been invoked. Look, there's so much evil in the world and so much curse that you don't want to add some. Mm. You see? Because there are just general cases you can do nothing about. The mere fact that you are a man, a male, there are some cases that come with it. When you're a female, there are some cases that come. Some of you, unfortunately, from the family you come from, there are some cases that come with it. Your great 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 grandfather went to steal some of these chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and then they care that your great 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 grandchild will suffer. And unfortunately, it's you. It falls on you. Mm. You are the great 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 grandchild. You see, yeah. Then now, as you are coming to the world, you are, let's say you're a female, you are walking with the cares of a female, the cares of your family, then I want to invoke the cares of not paying time mm. yeah, upon yourself. Yeah. Alright, a cares person is someone who is plagued with mysterious freak incidences. Yeah, mysterious. All of us, we are going down, so only you will fall down. <laughs> on the steps, only you. No water, no banana, nothing slippery on the steps, but only you. You will fall in some assaults. <laughs> only and then you break your head. And only you. You get it? Yeah. Only you. Strange things happen to you. You are cursed. Amen. I'm trying to explain some of you what is happening to you. Amen. Alright. A cursed person is someone who is persistently rejected and set aside. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Only you. It's like before, oh, did that guy did that. Oh, the interview went well. That, that, that. Oh, then you see any reason why we shouldn't hire you. Only to get a call the next day and say, yes, sir. Every job. Yeah. Wow. Are you here you're going home? A cash person is someone uh, who is constantly assigned to a bad option. It's like only you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Only you. Mm, some of you are like the, the woman at the well. Mm, only you. This is your faith marriage. Mm, you are from Ghana. You tried Ghana, it didn't work. And you tried Liberia, it didn't work. And you tried Cameroon, it didn't work. You tried Ivory Coast, it didn't work. So it is the black people. You tried white man, it didn't work. You tried Chinese, it didn't work. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
time you die, you have children with all of them. Wow. It's like oh, only you every day is like bad or it's like you just attract. Have you heard somebody say like that? That person, I don't know, it's like I just seem to attract bad men. I just seem to attract bad people. It's a curse. But it's broken today in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, a curse person is someone who only encounters bad people. Yeah, the only you. Yeah, that's not only you. Every day, your manager is not good. Yeah, only you. Since you came to America, you've never had a good manager, good boss before. <laughs> only you. Amen. Yeah. You are cursed. My God. A cursed person is someone who is always last and ends up as a loser, no matter how he starts. You see? Yeah. No matter how. Came to school, all tuition was paid, accommodation, everything. Still, you couldn't go past first semester. <laughs> wow. You are cursed. Amen. You see? And when you are cursed, uh, there's really nothing you can do as, as I'm reading some of these things. It's when you are cursed. See, the only thing that cancels a curse, do you see, is a blessing. You understand? A blessing. That is why don't mind anybody who says you like blessing too much. They don't understand. Do you see? Because like I said, when you are born, depending on your sex, you are coming with one curse. Remember in Genesis, God cares the man and then he cares the woman. Do you see? So the only thing that neutralizes, you see, now a blessing, what it does is that it doesn't erase a curse per se, but it makes you operate as if there is no curse. You understand? Yeah. So you see that we are all there, we are all male, but you see that there are differences. Not all male are struggling, not all female are struggling, not all black people are struggling. You see that? So the blessing neutralizes and takes away a curse. Amen. And one of the things that invokes a blessing is your period of time. Hallelujah. All right, when you pay time, you invoke God's blessing upon you. And you take away many curses. Are you there? So I want to encourage everybody here. Our time is up. But I want to encourage everybody here today that decide to be a tithe payer. You understand? Don't stay. look at Malachi chapter 3. I have one advice, all right? Stealing is not good. Don't steal. But in case you have to steal, not from God. You get it? Still from Sandra or Auntie Doris. Yeah. But not from God. <laughs> yeah, that's not, yeah. Uh, it says, Will a man rob God? Uh, but yet he has robbed me. Uh, he has robbed, yeah, have robbed me. But he said, Wherein have we robbed thee? It says, In tithe and in offering. You see, in tithe. Now, again, how can God say you have robbed them when the money belongs to you? This is where a lot of people struggle with tithe. It's like, Ha, ah, my own money. So, if it's your money, then this statement is wrong, then, isn't it? Yeah, because if, like, um, Auntie Sudonese here with a nice test, if I come and I take it, do you see? And she says, I brought that. Is she right? Yeah. Why? Because it's for her. Uh -huh. So God to say that you are stolen from me. Then we ask God, oh, but God how? He says, in tithe and in offering. Some of you will ask, ah, but how can we rob God and offering? I give offering every day. True, you rob God because the offering you give, it's not equal to you. They understand. Another comment reads your position. Yeah, it's, a, it's an insult to God. Amen. Huh? Are you here or are you going home? Yeah. Yeah. Some of you, the way God has blessed you, up to now, you still give one dollar. The maximum you've given is five dollars. Hmm. Even that one, you, you don't sleep when you go home. You have, you have hypertension, <laughs> high blood pressure. Just because of five dollars that you were given, you forgot that the five dollars was in the right pocket. And then you put your hand in the wrong pocket and you gave. Only to go to McDonald's to see who. And by the time you came, I would count the money. Okay. The sign still almost to be delivered. <laughs> and you see, more than five dollars, you are getting out of that. You see, yeah, so then you come up with a plan. You give for the next four weeks. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar. To make up. 
for that for yeah. You stole them from God. Amen. Amen. Alright, so the tithe is God's money. Now, serving God is very mysterious. What is a mystery? A mystery is something you cannot understand. Okay, it's mysterious. Alright. And one of the mysterious ways God blesses us is through our tithe and our offering. You see, because in the world we are taught that the more you keep, isn't it? And the more you have, rather the more you get. Isn't it? Yeah. But in the kingdom of God, it says, no, 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 no. Rather, the more you give, the more you will get. All right? And so when you study tithe, okay, one of the groups of people that you will see that God has really blessed in this world, a group of people, is Jewish people. You see, because Jewish people believe in giving.